So once we've created a new tuning system or explored existing tuning systems and had developed a rough idea of what we'd like to do, we can jump into Apotome and start using the generative environment to create some music. Apotome is based on these tracks that have all these different modules. And the most important thing about it is that it's not based on any algorithm that is hidden away in the code. Essentially, every time you create a, a, a modulation to some of these parameters or change something, you're more or less creating your own algorithm or a variation of an algorithm that you've already done. The only thing that exists in the background is the random selection of notes from whatever possibilities exist in the tuning system and the subset. For an in-depth tutorial on how to use this, please check out the other videos, but this is just a quick overview. We have the ability to adjust what pitch degrees are um, triggered from these um, uh, tunings and subsets, what intervals are allowed, what octaves, um, the time signature, accenting, the kind of beat divisions, including a small Euclidean um, uh, rhythm creator, we have the ability for uh, looping or capturing uh, the previous one, two, three or four bars, which is nice for improvising and live performance, a randomized note delay, articulation range of, uh, from legato to staccato, a velocity range, and then a small selection of um, web synths that were designed or ported by uh, Jai Claymola from web audio modules. This is a version of the famous Yamaha DX7 and we also have a version of the Oberheim OBX in plus a simple basic synthesizer and obviously the ability to send out MIDI to hardware or um, uh, software um, instruments. There are a few LFOs to help modulate some of the parameters and a small mixer section at the end. We can have up to eight tracks that can all be assigned to do different things, they can all use the same tuning system or they can all have different tuning systems. But the most fun part is this snapshot section here which allows you to create snapshots of all the settings within Apotome at any given time. So that allows for a slightly more meaningful and more developed um, compositional process using these generative parameters because you could have a snapshot set to a specific tuning system and a subset and then jump to a completely different one or change instruments or have completely different settings. The possibilities are endless as is kind of the general trend with most of the technologies that we have today.